Hello, hello. Hello, class. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, my dear students? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. You are like you are like my song. You say like, how are you? Good. That's the only <laughs> thing he says. And I say like, how was the school and everything? Good. Just it's just nice, just good. It's it's like yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm cool. I'm fine. Good, excellent. So I hope you had a beautiful weekend, full of resting. Who works on the weekend, people? Do you work? <laughs> yeah, my. <laughs> For sure, it's like, yeah, I am going to rest all the weekend. And the last thing that you do is resting. You end up more tired than what you started. Okay, so welcome to week number two. In this week, we are going to be working on section three on the platform and the midterm exams. Many of you have already advanced on section three. I was checking on your profiles, right? I andaba curioseando la plataforma de cada uno. A ver cuánto han trabajado. And many of you have advanced to section three. Some of you finished the midterm exams. So some of you are in section four. That's fantastic. So keep advancing during the week. On Thursday, we are going to check. Oh. You have been sick, Edson, my God. Yes, Carla Fabiola, you are sick. And my God, all this group is getting sick. You have to be very careful, people. You have to be very, very careful because now as we have all this crazy weather, you have to be careful here. Fumigando el grupo. <laughs> like in COVID, in pandemic. So be very, very careful with all this illness that we have around because it is pretty, pretty complicated. Mostly now that it's very hot. I don't know if near your house is hot, but here in San Salvador is terrible. And okay, good, ever be very careful, okay? Be very, very careful when driving. I have very busy students. Some of you are sick, some of you are working. <laughs> okay, Fabiola. Thank you for your messages. I am reading all of them in the chat. Today, it is uh, our first day of the week and we are going to do a short review of what we have been studying and we are going to work as well on the topic of the week that it's in section two about uh, gerunds and infinitives. We're going to be working on that. And just let me open my book. I will close this one because I am not using it. And in the previous class, we were talking about summer in the country, right? We were talking about the different activities that people used to do in summer, right? And we were talking about the the name, the, the program who supports this type of activities that was like the fresh air found. And we were talking about different actions that different kids from New York City used to do, right? That was the last activity we did in the previous class. Do you remember the reading? This is the reading that we did in the previous class, right? We were talking about this and we were discussing it. So today we are going to start with what's this for? What's this for? And we are going to talk about the different uses and the different purposes that objects have in our daily lives. This is unit number seven. What is this for? And we have different objects. For example, the artificial satellite, 
the industrial robot, video games, the compact disc, the fingerprints, the fingerprints uh, DNA. And in 1989, the World Wide Web entered to the contest. And I think it has been a great invention because without it, we wouldn't be here. Okay. Si esto no hubiera pasado en el 89, no estuviéramos aquí sentados. Because thanks to the World Wide Web and the Internet, we have the chance to be connected in the same house in different places, right? I bring all of you here to my office. And I don't need you to move one little finger just to click on the link in Zoom. So when was the video game invented? When, when did it start? In which year? The video games. 1972. In 1972. What about the artificial satellites? 1957. In 1957, what about the internet? 1989. And the compact disc or the CD? 1984. 1984. 1984. It was born with me, right? Junto conmigo, Nacia. <laughs> and what about the industrial robot? 1962. 1962, right? 1962. And what about DNA? When was it? discovered 1986. 1986 1986 right so do you think that all these advancements were helpful or not yes yes they are yes it were <laughs> yes they were very important right what do you think is the importance of video games entertainment teacher for entertainment uh-huh what for else entertainment it was a, uh, a step for for new programs in the computer at the future. Okay, for new programs and computers that are working now in these days. What about the CDs? What do you think they were important? They were important because we used to save like documents, music, uh, films, a lot of films, do you remember? Do you remember the movies, people, when we used to get them in a CD? Mm -hmm. uh, one yes. dollar, one dollar. <laughs> it's very, very cheap. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Or the CDs when we used to get music. Only 10 songs in the CD. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I remember that was my, my most appreciated gift a Backstreet Boys CD with 12 songs. It was beautiful, right? What about the internet? What is the purpose of this? Connect to the world. To connect. connect to the people in the immediately. Okay. And we know how, what happened in other, in other country or uh, in the almost the same moment. Exactly, it's instantly, right? To connect the world. You use the World Wide Web, as its name suggests, right? It's una red mundial, to connect with other people instantly, right? To connect instantly with other people. What about the satellites? What do you use these for? Why are satellites important? Why do you think satellites are important? This is the cause for the World Wide Web because it's okay. very important to okay, so to connect the things. To connect because it. exactly, satellites help to connect, right, as well. They help to connect. No worldwide. No worldwide if we, know, we, we don't have artificial satellites. Exactly. We couldn't have anything, right? We couldn't have this connection without the artificial satellites. If you want to check on um, TV, uh, I don't know, 
TV, music, radio systems, anything, it has a satellite, right? If you want to watch Netflix, you need it, right? If you want to, uh, I don't know, download things, you need a satellite, right? There is no connection without them. Very good, thank you. Good, very good answer, uh, Cesar. Here, I have a question for everybody. Let me just share my screen here. For you, what has been the best invention in the world for you? That you say, no, teacher, that has been the top of the inventions. What has been the best invention in the world for you? I think that all the inventions are good, mm -hmm. but it depends the the period in, in that they appear. For the moment, uh, what, uh, nowadays, is, uh, nowadays is a world war, war, war way. That is, you uh, say, if no, if no exits that situation, we not, we not study that, uh, that this form. Okay, if we didn't have internet, we couldn't be here right now starting right so for you the internet is the best <laughs> what about the what about the rest of you or any other type of program or any other type of invention that you consider that is the top thing this is the internet because the the telephone needs internet to work and yep. also that that tv nowadays exactly the tv <laughs> nowadays you need internet if you want to watch tv what else? Any other example? I think the, maybe the car. The, the car. car? Okay, the cars. Is especially important when we need to travel long distance. Exactly and like that. Change the way that we, we move. Exactly. It changed the way we move the car. Very good. Very good creation. I, I like that one as well. Any other one that you say, no, teacher, that is the best thing in the world. Teacher, I consider uh, that the best invention in the world has been uh, the internet uh, because internet le let us uh, to connect and um, to communicate with with us. Exactly. Internet allow us, allow us to communicate and connect. But what do you think about the electricity? The electricity yeah. is the Electricity, the it's first than the internet. <laughs> exactly, because even if we have the best television, the best internet, the fastest connection, the best cell phone, if there is no electricity, <laughs> we don't, have, <laughs> we don't have anything. What happens when you don't have this little friend right here? Let me show it to you. That is uh, a charger. A charger. It's a charger. What happens when you don't have one? A and you, and you don't phone. have cell phone. <laughs> if you don't have a charger, the cell phone is useless, right? Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Puedo, puedo ver el pánico en sus ojos cuando dice 5%. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need a charger. <laughs> and you don't have, and you are like, oh, no, my phone. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, el teléfono se apagará. <laughs> no. <laughs> So we suffer. The electricity is one of the top inventions, right, in the world. And also, well, we have many others, right? What about the microwave? What do you think? The washing machine. <laughs> the wash, yeah. Oh my God, yes. The washing machine, people. <laughs> I, I, I just remember in the past, right? I was like 12 years old and I didn't have a, a washing machine in my house, right? I used to dedicate one complete day. It's true. By hand. By hand. 
Ah, that was so difficult. Nah. The microwave, teacher. Uh, what about the microwave? Uh huh. What do you think of the microwave? Do you consider it a, a good invention? Yeah, I consider it a, a good invention because when you want to prepare a coffee, it's very fast. It's very fast, right? Or for example, at the office. What happens mm -hmm. if you take food and there is no microwave? You are going to eat cold food. <laughs> it's, it's very delicious. <laughs> it's really horrible. <laughs> what about, what about the telephone? Do you remember in the past when we didn't have cell phone? ¿Se acuerdan su vida sin celular? Oh, teacher, imagine your life without We have without to find for, for public public phone. A public toll, right? That you used to go and in wait. <laughs> Exactly, that was the most frustrating part when you were calling the person with your only coin and the person didn't answer. <laughs> and you were like, no. And you were like, you were pushing the phone to get your coin back. It didn't happen, right? It didn't happen. I remember when we had cars, había unas tarjetas que usted le raspaba el código for you to use it on the phone. <laughs> and I remember one day I had an emergency and I had to call one friend. And when I just scratch it, it ruined, right? Cuando la raspé, raspé todo el código y todo el <laughs> So I was so frustrated. And I said like, my five colones, oh my God. <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> so the telephone, what about your life without WhatsApp? Do you remember it? Writing, yes. writing we messages. Have, we have to wait for, for call or for a mail for, for one answer. <laughs> for an answer. Do you remember when we used to write SMS messages? Cuando mandaban el mensajito. Yeah. It was like, hola. <laughs> and you used to write everything in one message because it was important, right? How was your life before Netflix? Watching Titanic have, in Channel 6. We have to, to buy, to walk a, a CD. We for, have to. For the movies. Exactly. We used to buy CDs for the movies, right? Or watching the movie. Imagine Los Diez Mandamientos in, in, in Channel 6. six. Channel 6. In Channel 6, right? Yeah, parte uno, parte dos, parte tres, parte cuatro, in <laughs> five days to watch a movie. <laughs> so, our life was kind of nice before, right? Your life before TikTok. How was it? It was beautiful. Thank God we didn't have TikTok before, right? Gracias a los que sobrevivimos que no había TikTok aún in that moment. Imagine you dancing a cereje in a TikTok there. <laughs> I, it could have been nice. So we have many great inventions in the world. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So what do you use the computer for? Give me three things that you can do on the computer. I use the computer for? Work. For work. Study. Study. Entertainment. A study. And entertainment. Or send emails. Okay. And I will give you the other one. I use the computer to? To look to, for information. To, to look, look for information. To surf the internet. To surf to the internet. Mails. To send mails. To investigate. To play video games. To play video games. To see movies. To watch movies. To watch movies. To watch movies. To listen to, to music. To listen to music. To receive class. To receive classes. <laughs> that was the answer that I was looking for, right? To receive classes. You use the computer to receive classes. To After do the homework. Okay, to do the homework, right? After four, you use for working, for studying, for learning. And after two, you use 
to study, to work, to listen, to communicate, right? After yes. two, you use a normal verb, and after four, an ing. So that's a little tip that we have for today. So when was the microwave oven uh, discovered or invented? 1945. 1945. Oh, Edson sent a message. The beeper, that he says. That was the greatest invention, right? The beeper. I remember the beeper. That was so nice. Ruth, tell me. Could you repeat uh, the, the use for two and four? And four ah, we, are go <laughs> we, are going to, we are going to go in detail in this one. But four is followed by Jared's. ING forms for cooking, for heating, for sending, right? With INGs. And two is with normal verbs. To call, to write, to draw, to investigate, right? Normal verbs. That's the main difference. The telephone answering machine, when was it invented? 19. 1949. The pocket calculator. Uh, 1970. 1970. What about the video games? When did it start? 1972. 1972. What about the VCR? 1974. 1974. The VCR. Did you have a VCR, people? Yes. <laughs> yes. No. You are too okay. young for this. What about, okay, what about the one to put the discs for music? The long plays. Have you seen one of those? Donde ponían los discos, pero los discos de música, los grandotes. I would like to have one of these. Child. You would uh, like to have decoration. one? I like it. My, grand, my grandmother uh, to one of these. Had one. My I, grandmother? Have, my grandmother had one. Yeah. Is, that's good. I still have one that is my husband's grandfather's. But the name the for tocadisco say, but yeah, I think it's I think it's a long play, a long play player, something like that. I let me just investigate that one. It's a tocadisco. Yes, uh, my grandmother didn't uh, have uh, this uh, Pedro Infante. Oh yeah, they had this all this beautiful music there, and it's it's very beautiful. I think it's very very classic and decorative. You, uh, I, Edgar wants one for decoration. He said. So, mm -hmm. the World Wide Web. When did it start? Nineteen eighty nine. In nineteen eighty nine. Very good. Let's see. I will investigate that one and I will continue here. So let's go with the next one. Here I have some questions and also we have some adverbs of frequency with them. Oh, this is a turntable, turntable. It's a tocadiscos or a record player. Record player or turntable. Those are the two forms. The turntable. It is one and the record player. These are for the long plays. I have a couple of questions here. I use or I would use a computer to send and receive emails. Do you do this often, sometimes, hardly ever, or never? That you use your computer to send and receive emails. You say, often. Oh, no, teacher. often. Sometimes, hardly ever, or never. Oh, thank you. Often. often. For paying bills. Mm -hmm. Para pagar en línea. Oh, yeah. Hardly, hardly, ever. Ever. hardly ever the computer no to play games never no. hardly ever never hardly no. ever never to find information on the web very often all the time sometimes. all the time sometimes <laughs> good 
for doing school assignments. Often. The platform. Often. <laughs> Often. To learn languages. Often. 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 Often, right. Every day. <laughs> for writing letters. Sometimes. Sometimes. Never. Do Sometimes. you write letters, people? Never. <laughs> We write emails, maybe, oh, okay. but letters? Never. Dear teacher, <laughs> column, I want to tell you about this. No, right? You don't do it, right? Imagínense abrir Word, escribir la carta, imprimirla, mandar. No, we don't do that anymore. Did you, did you do that when you were younger? ¿Quién escribía cartas cuando estaba joven? Me. 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 <laughs> my friends. <laughs> oh, so Edgar received letters by hand. By hand. <laughs> I used to write. I, I used to write. And you used to. And you hand. used to. You used to burn the sides, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and to put perfume on them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then uh, 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 I kiss. Uh, too many hearts. Oh, a like lot of right there <laughs> a lot of hearts you know uh, i have i have a funny story because i work translating letters right yo trabajaba de traductora de cartas and it was like from kids to sponsors right de los niños a los padrinos but as it was for it was forbidden to ask for money so you couldn't ask for money but the kids on the sides of the letter aquí en toda la orilla they used to draw to draw dollar signs <laughs> here on the side of the card. Le decían a toda la orillita, signo de dólar. Because it was forbidden. Estaba prohibido pedir dinero en la carta. But they used to draw dollar signs. <laughs> and I was like, mm -hmm. tricky. It was like, padrino, yo lo quiero mucho. <laughs> And the dollar sign. <laughs> so I used to write letters a lot. And I used to receive letters a lot. Did you receive letters when you were younger? Tuvieron fans? Sí, no? Yes. Yes, this year. Yes. yes. <laughs> Esposos de mis alumnas. Hay una caja oculta en algún lado de la casa. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Y esposa de mis alumnos, hay una caja oculta que usted no conoce. <laughs> yeah. Sígame para más consejos. Teacher, uh, it uh -huh. was in the room. <laughs> uh -huh, in the ceiling, right? <laughs> hay un cielo falso que está flojo. <laughs> yeah. Me han contado, oh. me han contado que ahí se guarda. <laughs> yeah, so... That was like that was one of the best inventions, right? The internet now, WhatsApp, emails, and everything. They help you not to do this. To check the weather. Do you use the computer to check the weather, people? No. Never. 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 I think never. I have never used it for that. Never. To read the news. Never. 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 Right? Never. <laughs> oh. never. Edson says that he was always receiving letters <laughs> and he used to send them as well. Did you use the computer to download music? Sometimes. Never. A long yeah. time ago. Long time ago. Sometimes. One song Never. and 20 viruses. <laughs> yeah, ah, those days, right? They were very nice. When, you, when we use the computer to download music. Now, all these activities that you have here, you can do them where? Where is the easiest way to do all these activities? On By the phone. phone. On the phone. On the phone, right? The best way to do the activities, it's on the phone. It's very quick. Right? You can pay something, you can receive an email, you can send an email, you can play games, you can do a school assignments, you can connect to the class, everything on the phone. But what happens? What happens when you don't have internet? The phone is a calculator and a clock. 
Puede ser un reloj o una calculadora. Without internet. En a camera, right? Sí. <laughs> yeah. The alarm clock. So that's the only usage that you can give to the phone if you don't have internet. So this is what I was just explaining to all of you. The infinitives and the gerunds, right? As you can see, the infinitives are the normal form of the verbs um, after two, and the gerunds are after four, ing form of the verbs, right? For sending, for paying. You don't have to use it like in a very common mistake when you say for to send, for to pay. No, people, don't do that, okay? You say, I use my computer for sending emails. El error más común que yo escucho con mis alumnos, con las personas que hablan inglés o que están aprendiendo a hablar inglés, dicen, for to go, for to see, for to buy. No, right? I know we love gerunds and infinitives, but don't use it together. So you say, I use it for cooking or I use it to cook, right? So in this case, we have purposes. Purposes with infinitives and gerunds. The infinitives, I use my cell phone to send messages, right? Lo uso para enviar mensajes. Cell phones are used to send messages. It's the same form. I use my cell phone for sending messages. It's the same purpose, right? Cell phones are used for sending messages, okay? But you have to be very careful not to mix it, okay? For to send, no, right? To sending, no. So you have to be very careful. After two, you have an infinitive form. And after four, you have an ing. What are the examples that we have here? Can you help me to read the examples of the infinitives? I use, I use my computer. Uh -huh. uh, I, use, I, I use my cell phone to send message. I use my I cell use, phone to send my messages. Very good. Uh -huh. I used to I go to downtown for buying milk. Okay, I used to go downtown for buying milk. In that case, you say like, I used to go downtown to buy milk. To buy milk. For buying milk, it's correct, but the best in this case, right? I used to visit my mother too, because you have, I used to, you use an infinitive form. But in this case, I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills, right? And I have more examples here. Teacher, and, yep. when, and then when we use, uh, when we use, used to, uh, it, uh, it's incorrect to use uh, uh, the gerund. In that case, yes, because you are using used to. And after mm -hmm. that, for sure, you are going to use an infinitive, right? I used to go, I used to visit, I used to buy, I used to, right? In that case, you use an infinitive form. In this case, I was giving you these examples before. Satellites are used, and you have to complete the sentence. Satellites are used to do what? To transmit, to transmit television programs. To transmit, to transmit programs. television programs. Good. Robots are sometimes used. Um, to perform dangerous, dangerous tasks. tasks. To perform dangerous tasks. You can use a cell phone to uh, make a reservation. To and text messages. To send text messages, uh, to make travel reservations, to identify criminals. <laughs> no. You can, people use the internet. To study the world's weather. To make travel reservations. To store an encyclopedia. To store an encyclopedia, right? DNA fingerprints are used. Identify identify criminals. Identify to criminals. identify criminals. See the rooms are used to. Okay. To store. To store an encyclopedia. To store an encyclopedia, right? To store an encyclopedia. Those are the different forms of them. Let me just go here. I am going to share my screen here 
and we're going to practice a short conversation. Here we go. We have Daniel and Andrea. Daniel and Andrea. And here we have, hey, nice computer. What's this for? What's this for? That's a What's... modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line so I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Yes. And I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything, sports, cars. Uh-huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Hmm. I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun, right? Tell me people, did you ever enter to a chat room? Uh -huh. ¿Entraron alguna vez a un chat? On the internet? No, no. Never, teacher. The, the YouTube comments. <laughs> to the YouTube, to Facebook comments. That looks like a chat. <laughs> but in the past, no, to never. To fight with people. To fight with people. <laughs> I used to do that. Yeah. Guilty. Uh-huh. Never? You never enter to a chat room? No. No? No, teacher. Oh, my God. Solo yo era la única rebelde. <laughs> I found my husband there. In a chat room. Indeed? Yes. <laughs> nice. Really, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Latin chat? Yes, I remember, but I never used it. A Latin chat. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a story for another class. Okay. I, I found my husband on the internet. So thanks to the internet, I found my husband. Yeah, 90 kilometers away <laughs> and we found each other. So it says that you can find anything on the internet as information about astronomy, movies, sports, cards, etc. What is the only use that he was giving to his computer? What was he using his computer for? Just to write letters and reports. Just to write letters and reports, right? He says, like, can you do all that on the computer? I was just using it to write letters and reports. What a boring thing, right? You can find anything online. So, my dear students, you are going to be Andrea. I am going to be Daniel, the old-fashioned men. Hey, nice computer. What's this for? That's a modern. That's a modern. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line. So I can send access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Yes. Yes. They use the world web to find more information on astronomy. Astronomy is used about anything. Do you know what the meaning of UFOs? OVNIs. <laughs> Unidentified flying object. Objeto volador no identificado. Unidentified flying object, UFOs. Sports and cars? Um, and I can I, I like with information with folks who I belong to a chat room on astronomy. astronomy. Oh. Astro uh, I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why do you, you get it? on the internet? It's, it's not really expensive. Really expensive. Really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, now you are going to talk about the computer. Go ahead. One, two, three. Go. You start. Hey. 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 Nice nice computer. computer. What is four? Four. Four. four? That's a modern. I use to connect the computer to the phone line so I can send faxes and access the internet and check my mail and everything. So, so you can go online and all that. All that. 
Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, cooking, classes in Zafor, just about anything. <laughs> And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a class called uh, English Intermediate 2 on English. Oh. That's pretty awesome. Why don't you get to my class? It's really nice, and the internet is not expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. We have a very cool teacher. <laughs> She's very crazy. So infinitives and gerunds, as I was explaining you, on the conversation, we have a couple of examples. Here, the first example that we have about infinitives. Can you help me to read the example on infinitives? A more a modem is used to connect computers to phones. And in this one, computers, computers are often used to write letters. Computers are often used to write letters. What about the next one? I can use, I can use the, the World Wide Web to find information. information. To find information. It is used for. Computers to phones. Computers to phones. What about the next one? They are often used for writing letters. Yes. And I can use it for finding information. Very good job. So here we have the example that I, I was just explaining to all of you, right? That we were just matching. And here, let me just go back here and change the screen. Okay, here I go. I have here different things, video games, iPods, modern, and a memory stick. Tell me one or two sentences about the use or the purpose of these things. What is the use or what is the purpose of these things? When you say, I use it to play, to do this and this. And for the next one, so like video games are used for, and you give me a purpose for this one. So choose any of the four things, and I need you to write on your notebook a sentence about the use or the purpose of it, okay? Your iPod, and you can say, I don't know, my Spotify or the modem or the memory stick or the, I don't know, the external memory, video games, cell phones, right? Choose one of them and write a sentence for uh, the use or the purpose of it. Go ahead. And when you have it, you can send it on the chat or you can open your microphone and tell it to me. Create one sentence. I'm all set. Okay, give me your example. Okay, memory sticks. I, memory stick is used to say important information and in documents. Okay, a memory stick is used to send important information and documents. Very good. Someone else? Thank you, Edgar. Uh, a more a memory stick is used for for saving music. Okay, for saving or storing music. Very good. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Another example. A memory stick is used for uh, saving movies. Okay, for saving movies. You need a big memory stick for that. <laughs> like thirty-two gigabytes. Uh, 
Well, nowadays you can save many movies in 32 gigabytes. Another Titanic. example, people? <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> Tengo Titanic en estas cinco memorias. <laughs> An iPod is used for reproducing music or photos. photos? Okay, so do you say reproducing music or playing music? Playing music. Playing music, very good. An iPod is used for playing music. Excellent, Ruth. Another example. I have to say reproducing photos. I don't okay. know. Uh, yeah, I can... mix the, the two photos and music. Okay. It's a mix. It, you did a mix, right? But that's but that's correct, right? We all we are here creating original sentences. Another example. Teacher. Yep. Teacher is correct. To say this, to say I use video game to teach different topics. Yes, nowadays okay. yes, I use video games to teach different topics. Okay, very Thank good. You. Another one. Hey, I have messages on the chat. A modem is using for have internet. Aha, uh -huh. good. This is a good moment for us to correct. I use my iPod for listening to music. For listening to music. I use video games for spending my free time. Yes, I use video games to spend my free time. That's good. And video games, video games is used for entertainment. In this case, video game, a video game is used for entertainment. Yes, to entertain myself. Okay, the next one. Um, a modem is used to have internet, right? To have internet. And a modem is used to have internet. That is a way to correct. Very good. Let's go here on the next examples. Give me a second. Sorry, I am fixing something here. <laughs> I have the next example over here. We're going to work a little bit on pronunciation right now. Give me one second. Satellite. Do you say satellite? Satellite. Satellite. Internet. 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 Invention. Entertain. 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 At the end, right? At the end is the strongest points. Here you have satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 CD ROM. Engineer. 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 Entertain. 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 Okay, now on Entertain. your own. Ustedes solitos. The first category. Satellite. 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 Internet. 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 The second. Invention. 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 Assignment. Assignment. Computer. 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 Okay. Invention. You say invention. Assignment. Assignment. Computer. What about the last one? Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. 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 Very good job. Excellent pronunciation. Very, very nice. Here. I have here different categories for us to match. And it says, fun things to do with a computer. 
browse websites, right? When you do on the browser, right? Browse websites. People who are into computers, right? Types of computer hardware. Things to do with a mouse in the computer, right? This type of mouse, not the other ones, not Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Things to do with a mouse. So I have here a couple of words for vocabulary. Cut and paste, this drive, double click, drag and drop, geek, hacker, highlight, text, keyboard, monitor, mouse, play games, scan photographs, surf the net, technophile, and whiz. Where do you think this vocabulary belongs? Let's yes, start with- Michelle, I'm yes. sorry. He, what is whiz? <laughs> we are going to discover it in a moment. Ya lo van a descubrir. Where do you think, where do you think the words belong? What about cut and paste? Things to do with a mouse. Things to do with a mouse. Okay, things to do with a mouse. Another thing that you can do with a mouse? Double click on. Double click on. Double click on, right? Double click, very good. What about? Drop. Drag and drop, very good, right? Drag and drop, you can do drag and drop. What else? Mouse. With the mouse. What? What's a different thing that you can do with the mouse? Like the hardware. Mm. Uh -huh. Highlight text. Highlight text, right? Marcar o, uh, mar uh, how, how do you call that? Hmm. I forgot the word in Spanish. Sombrear. 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 Highlight text. What about disk drive? What do you think this one is? This drive. Type of computer Type hardware. Types of computer hardware, right? This is a disk drive. Another one? Keyboard. The keyboard, right? The keyboard. keyboard. Hardware, keyboard. it's all these parts of the computer that you can touch, okay? Monitor. Monitor. Monitor and? Mouse. 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 Very good job. All these are types of computer hardware. Let's go with the fun things to do on the computer. Play games. Play games. Play games, right? You yeah. can play games. So okay. Surf the net. <laughs> Surf the net. Uh huh. Please scan photographs. Scan photographs. Very good. You can scan photographs as well, right? Those are fun things that you can do with a computer. Play games, surf the net, and scan photographs. What about people who are into computers? E hacker. A geek, a hacker, and and whiz. A whiz, it's a person that it's a really smart person, all the things related to computers, right? That it's a nerd in the computer area. A technophile, it's a person who loves technology, right? A technophile is a person who loves technology. A hacker, it's a person who can do prohibit things with the internet, right? That's a hacker, right? Ahorita le instalo WhatsApp, mama. Hacker. <laughs> a geek, a geek is a person who is totally smart when technological things uh, come into the conversation. That's a geek. If you know about the last application, the last phone, the last computer, you are a geek, right? And a geek is also a person who has the latest things in computer, right? It's the same as whiz. So answering the question, a whiz is a person who is a total crazy about technology, right? Es un loco tecnología. La pregunta que nos hacía Esmeralda, whiz. Si me dice, por ejemplo, no, Ángel Alejandro is a whiz. That he is very good with computers. Le puedo decir por su silla gamer. <laughs> so I can actually know it, right? He has a special share. 
So he loves technology. Yes or no, Alejandro? <laughs> I can see it, right? He's a whiz because he loves technology, video games, computers, phones, etc. Right? That's a whiz. Repeat with me. Bros websites. Bros, Bros websites. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. This dive. This drive. 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 Double click. Double, Double, Double click. Click. Double click. Drop and drop. Drag drop and drop. And drop. drop, and drop. Geek. 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 Hacker. 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 Highlight text. Highlight text. text. Keyboard. 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 Monitor. 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 Mouse. 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 Play games. Play, Play games. games. Scan photographs. Scan photographs. Surf the net. So, technophile. 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 <laughs> Whis. 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 Very good. A Whis. Teacher the list. I am going to call the attendance right now. That's exactly what I was going to do. Okay, let me just stop sharing for a moment. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? I am going to call the attendance right now. Thank you, Jesus, for being our technophile of the night. It's like, teacher, the least. <laughs> okay, let me see. I am going to go here. And, uy, I am opening the list that it's, okay. Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Angel Alejandro. Present, Thank you. Cecilia de Los Angeles. Here, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Is here. Elvira Lorenza. Elvirita. Where are you? Present, teacher said. Ah, she said present there on the chat. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Uh, Ever Ernesto? Evercito? Te acabo de ver ahí. Present teacher. <laughs> Very good. Gabriela Michelle? Yeah. Isabel? Present Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth? Present teacher. Joana Yesenia? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Fabiola, it's here. Sorry that you are sick. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Right on, teacher. Good night. Hey, thank you. <laughs> We are about to leave. Eh, Reina Elizabeth. Thank you. Uh, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Samuel Isaac. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, Miguelito. Samuel, very good. Let me see. Miguelito is not here today. Okay, so that's the only missing that I have. Well, so tomorrow we are going to keep working a little bit on the practice for the gerunds and infinitives. And here, for example, on the manual, you have a little bit more examples and we are going to use also, well, for tomorrow, the use of infinitive complements. When you give examples, when you give, a, for example, procedures, Right, do this, click on this, open this. We are going to use that one uh, tomorrow in class, but that is going to be a little bit more on the next class. So please, my dear students, if you can continue investigating and practicing about the gerunds and infinitives for uses and purpose, that will be fantastic. You can investigate more and bring examples tomorrow. Have a beautiful night and I will see you tomorrow for your next class. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Have a beautiful Good night. Good night, teacher. 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 Good